Donald Trump plans to meet tomorrow with 100 black religious leaders in an effort to reach out to the black community. What will Trump say, and what can we expect from that meeting? Well, one of those pastors attending is Mark Burns. He's the senior pastor of the Harvest Praise and Worship Center in South Carolina, and he joins us this morning. Pastor, it's good to see you this morning. So, hey, Tucker, how are you? Good I'm to really see you. well, thanks. Is, is your presence at the meeting tomorrow a sign that you've endorsed Donald Trump and plan to support him for president? Well, I really, truly believe that he is the uh, best person for the Republican nomination. And, and many of us really feel that, you know, this is a, a season and a time for a strong leader that can um, really bring Americans together. Uh, but obviously, there are some questions regarding the uh, black community um, that uh, many of us um, uh, really have to have some, some answered before we, you know, before we're ready to really pull out for support. So that's why we're having this meeting. Right. So can you be more specific? You're hearing Democrats say that Trump is essentially leading a candidacy of white reaction against diversity and demographic change and that he's somehow anti-black uh, and anti-Hispanic. Uh, you clearly don't buy that. What are the questions you need to hear him answer? Well, you know, again, th there are some actions that have taken place, um, you know, as Mr. Trump is running for president. Um, th there are some things that has ha very questionable things that, that, that are creating more racial tension than, than, than racial unity. And so, you know, again, the, the incidents with the Twitter retweeting the, the, the false stats and it was just some of the statements that are taking place with the Black Lives Matter uh, uh, candidate now, uh, you know, uh, Black Lives Matter uh, pro a protester, uh, you know, disrupting and getting roughed up. And so things like that that are creating more uh, racial tension than, than racial unity. And so uh, this meeting really is coming at a, I think it's a 911 uh, meeting. Um, so that Mr. Trump can speak to uh, these 100 black pastors and leaders across America. As for some of his, uh, uh, again, uh, his rallies, a lot of them are strongly uh, Caucasian-led rallies. Uh, why is it uh, that, that many blacks are not showing up? And, and, and why is it still many blacks still see him as a racist, white supremacist? Hmm. And again, many of us, we know that is not the answer. We know uh, those who, who have met him one on one know that this man uh, is probably one of the most least racist person. Uh, uh, and this is out of his own mouth uh, when he was when he was asked that very question. Um, but the rest of America, primarily black America, don't see that. And so uh, this meeting is, again, it's a 911 cry. Uh, that uh, he has to be able to address some of these issues and not just do it privately, but he has to come out and, and address it publicly. Uh, you, you're hearing Democrats say, I heard one say just yesterday, that these black pastors are meeting with, you all are meeting with Donald Trump, probably because he paid you. Is that true? <laughs> Well, that's, that's absolutely a fabrication. Of course, Donald Trump hasn't paid or even axed uh, his, his, his company, his administration. Uh, th that is preposterous to think that we are being paid. Uh, there are no Judases. There are no Uncle Toms. There are no Coons that are selling out the black race, like many have stated, uh, just for some 30 pieces of silver. No, we are there because we've met the man, those of us who have met, like Dr. Dara Scott, uh, who has led this coalition of African-American ministers and other great men and women of God across the country, uh, those who have met him and fallen in love with the character of Donald Trump and believe uh, he's been extremely kind. Uh, you got to understand, um, Tucker, this meeting that we're having uh, t uh, Monday uh, is a makeup meeting um, for a meeting that was actually scheduled in October in Atlanta. And we had about 50, it wasn't as heavily popularly uh, 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 publicized as this meeting, but it was a meeting that uh, 50 or so black pastors from America came to meet uh, with um, Donald Trump. And because of his uh, uh, delayed uh, plane and delayed uh, time, a time uh, infraction, right. we weren't able to have real dialogue like, uh, like we had planned. So he wanted to make it up to us and make sure that he took this time out uh, because it's so important that uh, we met, and then he extended the number from 50 to over 100, and now we're meeting in, in, in Trump Towers, uh, New York City, to again have real dialogue. Uh, right. Again, nobody's gotten paid. That's preposterous to even to even suggest that we have been paid well, for uh, by dumps. And even if they offered, we wouldn't even uh, we wouldn't even take it.
Thanks for clarifying that. Pastor Mark Burns, we appreciate you joining us this yeah. morning. No problem, Tucker. Good to have Thanks for having me. Thanks.